Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bowl Central. We got another game review for you today. This is not a new, new game, though it will be new to people who are not uh, Nintendo users. I'm somewhat of a Nintendo user. I have a Switch, but I am definitely more of a Xbox, PlayStation, some, sometimes PC guy. Uh, so I never played uh, this game. Uh, I have played uh, Monster Hunter World, and I do like Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World was a pretty cool game because it 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 was like it was like boss fights the game. You know what I mean? You have all these amazing monsters to to track and hunt. And Monster Hunter World, uh, though it was a great game, it did have a lot of people who, a lot of detractors, because it was said to be kind of slow and cumbersome, and, you know, that's kind of easy to agree with. Uh, it's a great game, Monster Hunter World. But it's pretty clear that Capcom, when it came time to do a sequel, especially for Nintendo Switch, uh, this is now on Xbox uh, Series X, it's also on PlayStation, it's also on PC, so you can play it now pretty much on anything. Um, they stripped out a lot of stuff. They stripped out a lot of stuff that made Monster Hunter World um, really slow. And it was kind of slow, like, you know, for everything that it got so right, uh, you know, having the, the cool palicos, <laughs> your little furry friends... Uh, and having here, there, here's some palicos right here. Um, and you know, having you know a cool desi design aesthetic and a fun, a fun sense of adventure and all the cool weapons that you could get. And and you know, the main, the main thrust of any monster hunter game is killing these giant monsters, plundering their corpses for parts. To make even cooler weapons and armor so that you can kill even bigger monsters. That's the feedback cycle. Um, and it's really, really cool. Now, one of the things about it is it's pretty customizable as far as how you want to take these things down. Because each weapon, and there are many, there are many different types of weapons. And that's just like within one, within one tree you can get multiple types of, of weapons. The actual adventuring part, the taking down the monster part, is always fun, and it always has been fun. Uh, I find with this game that, that the stripping down of some of those extraneous things, I would call them extraneous, the tracking, uh, the, the constant need to heal while you're walking as slow as possible, good lord, um, you know... I would argue that this is the better way to experience it. If you've never played a Monster Hunter game, I would definitely try this one first. Because while Monster Hunter World is a more expansive experience, it's longer, especially if you get the Iceborne DLC, because basically all I've come to tell you today is that this is a great game, but it's hella short, especially the campaign portion. Now, after you finish this short campaign, there's still plenty of other things to do. They have these raid things where your where your you know your base is threatened, and they have additional monster tiers to go after, and additional armor and all that stuff. But as far as the campaign, it's really short. It feels like a little Nintendo game. Again, not not to not to, not to insult Nintendo because look, as soon as as soon as as soon as uh, Zelda the next Zelda game comes out, I'm back on my Nintendo. So don't even don't even worry about that. But um, this is one of those ones that I kind of wish I had played, um, just because it's quality. Anyways, so what do we have here? We have a very, very good version of Monster Hunter with some cool, fun improvements and some things that were taken out to streamline the experience, make it faster, make it more focused on hunting monsters uh, I think all of that, for me, uh, adds up to a huge win. I only wish it was longer. You know, I wish there was a little bit more meat on the bones, but then again, I'm playing this in the Xbox Game Pass, and even at retail, the game is only $40, so you get what you get. Plus, there's DLC on the way, and, you know, I mean, <clears throat> it's a good time. So... 
I'm giving Monster Hunter Rise an 8 out of 10. I think that's a fair score. Your mileage might vary, especially if you were into the more methodical, slow-paced, larger experience of Monster Hunter World. Hey everybody, do me a favor. This is my latest uh, novel. This is Resurrection Mixtape. It's got tons of music and tons of uh, horrific elements, and it's really, really, really funny. Uh, I spent a lot of time working on this. This was the book I wrote uh, during COVID times, so I had a lot, of <laughs> a lot of focus. It was this and watching Star Wars marathons on uh, on uh, Disney Plus. So <laughs> please do check it out. It's on Amazon. Any any territory you want. Oh boy. Whew.